this guy said, do you think it's wrong to compete with, for your friends? Yeah, don't compete with your friends. The only, let me tell you something right now. The only person on earth that you need to compete with is yourself. That's it. We're not all made equal. Some people are going to have an advantage. Some people are going to have a disadvantage, which may, may you look better because you've got an advantage. The only person you're competing with is yourself. Now, don't get it twisted. You should be able to, you should be looking at people who are the same age as you, a little bit older, a little bit younger, and trying to engage where you should be at in life or whatever, innit? Yeah? That's all right to, to use it as like a, a kind of measuring gauge or whatever, innit? But ultimately, the, the only competition is yourself. Yeah? If, you, if you're one of these people that want to be better than everyone, just try and be better than yourself. Be the best version that you can. If you really want to be better than everyone around you, the way to achieve that is to be the best version of yourself. There's kids in that, oh yeah, they got they got top marks in, they got the highest marks in class. They got a B. Yeah, 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 that sounds good. That sounds good. They got a B. They got the highest marks in class. Everyone else got C's and D's and they got a B. But they got a B when they should have got an A. So they sold themselves short. They're failing themselves. They're not a failure, but... It's all well and good getting a B and B and getting a B and that is better than everyone else because everyone else in that class got a C and a D. But you should be getting an A. So you're selling yourself short. It's that fucking... And I always like to use like competitions and martial arts and fighting as, a, as an analogy or whatever, really. Anthony Joshua lost to that Ruiz guy or Louise, whatever his name is, isn't it? Yeah. He should not have lost to that guy. Yeah. He shouldn't even be drawing against that guy. So, like, he just, he failed himself greatly by losing to that guy. Okay, he came back and he beat him. Do you know why he lost to that guy? Because this is what happens. People take their competition too lightly sometimes. A man saw a man like, oh, he's smaller than me, he's a bit chubby, and now oh, I'll knock him out, I won't need to train. Because he was comparing himself to him. Oh, yeah, I'm better than him, I'm bigger than him, I'm stronger than him, he's overweight, I'm in shape, whatever, innit? I've got this reputation behind me, I'm going to win. He lost that fight because he compared himself to him. He compared himself to Ruiz. He thought, oh, I'm better than him, I can beat him, so I don't need to train. But if he thought that Ruiz was at the same level as him or better than him, he would have trained harder. Furthermore, if he had thought to himself, you know what, I'm going to train as hard as I can. Fuck that guy. I'm going to just train hard because I want to be the best version of myself. He would have went out there and beat him first time. There's certain people you shouldn't even be losing to. Anthony Joshua should not have lost to that guy. Anthony Joshua should not draw with that guy. You see the way Anthony Joshua beat him the second time, or only beat him once. He lost in the first fight and he won in the second fight. He beat him in the second fight. Do you see how he was playing it safe, keeping his distance and jabbing him? Yeah, boxing is a technical sport, I get it. But Anthony Joshua didn't fight other men like that. He was playing it safe. You see that win that he had against my man in the second fight, the actual fight that he won. That win, in my books, that's a draw. Because you wasn't giving it your all, you was playing it safe. He wasn't fighting at his full potential. In my head, that's a draw. Although he technically won, that's a draw. That's a draw. He lost that fight initially because he took his opponent lightly, because he was comparing himself to his opponent. Me, I could sit there back and say, oh boy, I'm doing better than my people because I've got this property here, I've got that property over there, I've got that flat in Egypt. Oh yeah, I'm on top of the world. I'm, I'm doing better than the people that are around me. So I don't need to, I don't need to put in no effort, nothing like that. Yeah, you keep thinking like that and people will pass you. Now again, it's not no competition about who's doing what, but what. You need to just be doing the best that you can. So comparing yourself to other men. Because certain people might be have an advantage over you because they know this person, they come from this family or whatever. And you might have an advantage over that person because you come from that family or you might be a bit smarter than them or you might be better with money than them. You shouldn't be comparing yourself to other people. Don't get it twisted though. If you're, you're in your 40s and that, you should have more than someone who's 25, 20 years old. 
So in that respect, you should compare yourself to other people. That, you know, that there's a certain level you should be at, and you should be able to gauge that by the people that's around you in a certain age groups and that. Yeah. But your sole focus shouldn't be about being better than that person. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, be the best version of yourself. If you want to be the best, be the best version of yourself. Be the best version of yourself. Always try and do better. <laughs> I remember when I was a youth, I used to play uh, Super Mario 64. No, su su the Mario Kart, what am I talking about? And there was this mold on it called Ghost Mold. So let's say you go around the track in uh, 14 seconds. It takes you one, four, 14 seconds, let's say. You go around the track. Once you've gone around the track one time, it sets a ghost and you can see yourself, your previous time going around. It's a ghost. Yeah? The way to get faster and better is to, 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 to beat that ghost. So you're beating a previous version of yourself. Like this is some real philosophical shit right now. But the ghost is there for you to kind of gauge and compete against. So if you do better than that ghost, you're progressing, you're becoming better, you're becoming faster. Sometimes man try and use that, you know, like when I'm going for my runs and that, I picture myself running and I'm trying to, yeah, I know I sound like a madman saying it, but you have to just try and understand what man's saying. You know? You have to try and be better than yourself. I, I'm not comparing, um, comparing myself to these other fat people I see going out running and that. No, I've got an advantage over them. I'm slim. I'm, I'm, I'm naturally more faster than them. I'm a black man. Yeah, so naturally I'm going to be faster than whatever. I can't be comparing myself to these fat people and that I see out on the road. I need to be comparing myself to me. Ah. Oh. When I was when I was at this part of the my, my, my run, I was running a lot faster a couple of days ago. So Jay, you better pick up that pace, you know. Forget about running past this person and that. Yeah. So you have to be the best version of yourself. Yeah, my man remembers that. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. The goals mode, man. That's it. You go around the track and it takes you 20 seconds and it sets, it, it shows you your previous time and you race yourself. Yeah, fuck racing my man there or that person there, you're racing yourself. Your only competition is yourself. In Taekwondo, you will come across people who are worse than you and better than you. But ultimately, even if that person is better than you, all they're doing is they're simulating, oh, this is gonna be hard to explain now. They're simulating, or they, the person who's, who's, who's a better fighter than you technically is there to push you to your limit, to see if you can, mm, it's hard to explain, man. Yeah, they're, they're there to, to, to get the best out of you, put it that way. When you're fighting someone who's better than you, they're, they're testing you to see if you can fight your best. You might not necessarily, you probably are going to lose if the person's better than you, but they're there to push you. Yeah? And if you're able to push yourself and fight your best, you'll become a better fighter. You're here to compete with yourself. <laughs>